Well, at the same time, the Western Cape government is looking for ways to resolve the land issue in Parkwood in Cape Town, a group of residents staging a symbolic land invasion at the weekend. They occupied vacant land and marked out plots to protest against the slow pace of housing development. ENCA's Pilati Satusa has more. Pilati, good afternoon to you. So first of all, before we talk about developments today, just how bad is this, uh, la or this housing shortage? Well, the last we heard, official figures were something like uh, 55,000 uh, in the Western Cape. But that number grows all the time, and it also only focuses on... Uh people on official lists that the that the province refers to so there might be a lot more people in the need but um, the housing backlog is quite dire in the province so what happened remind us uh, in Parkwood last week then So as you rightly said uh, when you started there, Jeremy, people had symbolically marked out uh, pieces of that land to say, you know, there is a huge housing crisis in this area um, and the area is only so big and that they are calling on the city and the province to come and um, hear their cries about housing and the backlog in that area. Then what happened today, um, and I think over last night I think uh, that protest leveled up we now have a situation where 200 uh, temporary structures have been erected overnight and people saying that they will stay there until their housing crisis is dealt with we had the MEC uh, Bongin Kosima Dikizela heading out there today to talk to people begging them to vacate the land so that they could draw up a list of the people uh, most in need, uh, the elderly and the young people in that area he mentioned. Uh, but he was no sooner around the corner when people just carried on erecting those structures. Pilati, is there any uh, indication that they might be forcibly removed? I think it might come to that. I mean, we've seen uh, the protest here was actually quite uh, violent over the past two, three days. So uh, today, luckily, police were keeping uh, their distance and were across the road just sort of watching things unfold. But uh, the MEC had said that they must vacate the land. And I think in the coming days, they'll find a way to make them vacate that land if they don't do so willfully. In the meantime, though, community anger, no doubt, will continue to increase. Has there been any official undertaking then from the MEC uh, to resolve this problem and resolve it speedily? So he met with community leaders earlier today and their resolutions from that meeting were that they would, he would, the MEC would be meeting with the city to identify land in Parkwood that people could actually start uh, building on and that could be developed. He says that piece of land that's currently being occupied is not vi um, viable at all. So they said they'd find this land, they would have um, an inspection of some of the the places that these people have been living in, a lot of them are backyard dwellers. Um, and they also, another resolution was to make sure that those people vacate that land. But again, like I said, I think that message fell on deaf ears. Everyone nodded and clapped as he spoke. But the minute he was around the bend, um, that building continued. So I do think it's going to be an area we have to keep a close eye on because people are very, very desperate uh, for places to live. Um, even if they're not as decent as they they aspire to at the moment they just want somewhere else to live that isn't a, a backyard room where they're living with 15 other people some people living in municipal toilets so um, a number of harrowing stories that we heard from those very desperate people in Parkwood